Hey guys, so welcome back to the Goofy Loopy Show. So today I want to show you guys how to beat Super Mario 63 with what should be only one Shine Sprite or two, depending on how you decide to go through the, the first part of the game. So, uh, let's get to it, shall we? So, uh, a few things I want to get out of the way. Um, we are not dead. Um, Ian's not here with me right now because uh, it was raining today, so I couldn't really get down here to record a video. But um, we're just kind of running out of ideas. That's the only reason we're not like uploading. But um, when I uh, figured out how to do this on this game I was playing for a while, I figured this would be at least somewhat entertaining. So let's get to it, shall we? The gameplay, unfortunately, might be a little bit laggy because the um, the program this is running in from the the creator's website is like has horrible performance but um we should be okay otherwise i think yeah i, I think <laughs> so okay okay and one more thing to check first hello all right so let's get to this uh tutorial here shall we I get so you want to just go through this like normal, basically. Um, I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can. Yep, I told you the uh, this program just does not run well a lot, does it? It's not my computer, um, this computer can run pretty much like most games on uh, on decent settings, at about 45 to, s to 100 frames, so, you know, depending on the game, but I do all my editing on this computer as well, so honestly I don't really see there an issue with this, I just see an issue with the, um, the program. Uh, there's our first fail. You know, I'm really good at this game, but as soon as you start recording a video, you just make, me you just start doing mess ups like you wouldn't otherwise do if you weren't recording a video. Skip, 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 and castle, and so. Now what you're going to want to do is, if you want to do it in one shine sprite, which is really what you should be doing, right? <laughs> so just go into this door here, and there's a platform right about here, which we can access. So just, just get a triple jump going, and you'll find it on the top there. And uh, there's some shiny sprites up there, interestingly. It's kind of, that's a that's a little interesting, but uh, just go to the right here, and you'll be at the first boss fight. This isn't the end of the game. This is just the first boss fight. So we're going to unfortunately have to go through this as well. This this fight is actually really easy, though. So I mean, not really easy, but it's pretty easy. So. So, yeah, I just gotta get up on that thwomp and uh, be ready to roll here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So now for this, um, you basically just go on the back. You just wait for him. Oh my, that was bad. Okay, so just wait for him to jump, hit the down arrow key, and then um, left, just hit left and right to his tail, and hit the C button to throw him into the mines. Hints: keep at a safe distance from Bowser. Oh, fail number one or two of the video. Okay, so, now we're done with that. So now you're gonna have to go through the, the Out of Castle Grounds number two tutorial. Now this tutorial is like easy, so. Basically, just watch the video and see how to do it if you really need to. Otherwise, just like fast forward uh, to where we are out of the tutorial. And that kind of would go for like all the parts of the video. Like, if you don't want to watch the boss fight or do anything, basically just skip to the um, to to the the next part of the video after that. this part out because I failed two times on this which is probably like another minute 30 of footage. So basically now you just go through this part with the red flood. Very simple stuff. So to switch between your different... Oh my gosh. Okay, so to switch between your different floods, just hit the... Hit the shift button. <laughs> oh goodness. Sometimes I can't even speak and then I just get blasted away. So this should theoretically be the only shine sprite you need for the entire game. So now, this is going to be the good part. So now, all you need, it's really simple, all you need to do is go into, um, into the part with Eddie. Why you have to do this, I don't know, to get the, the next thing we need to do to work, but it just does. Just talk to him one time. Don't know why this is, but... I tried it earlier to, and I had to re-record all the footage because it took me like five minutes to figure that out, but... <laughs> so, what you're going to want to do is just trip this secret platform again. You can probably see the outline of it right there. We're basically going to want to triple jump into that. And triple jump up to that platform and just there's like fake stairs, like invisible stairs there. Go into uh, that uh, star right there. And just you, all, all you gotta do is grab that red flood, go out, and just basically go back to the main hall. Oh, door. So now, 
before the boss fight, if you want, go, just hit the uh, up arrow and you can go into the secret mushroom, uh, one up stage, which will, which you can get like a ton of uh, extra lives in before the boss fight. But if you're okay with just, you know, four or five lives, just, um, hit the C button for the flood and you should be, uh, just sent right up to the, uh, the boss fight with the, uh, sling star. And you've basically, um, now you gotta beat that final battle, and you'll be done with the game. But be warned, I have not been able to beat the boss fight as of, you know, making this video. Because you need to get, like, four keys in totally different parts of the, uh, the whole stage. It's really, it's really difficult, and if you haven't played the game before, I just recommend actually just going through and practicing at the game before you actually do this. Because you're pretty much guaranteed that to... To fail, unless you, uh, you know, actually have a little bit of control on the game. So, I, uh, yeah. So after you beat that final boss, you're basically done with the game, and uh, that's basically it. That's all there is to it. So, um, let's uh, just go back to the main screen. You know, I have to leave the cool music, but so that's it. Um. Follow us on Instagram at the Goopy Loopy Show for more. Um, join our clan and Clash of Clans if you play that game. Uh, to war with us, it's called Quantum's Flame. It has about what 29 members in it right now, you know. And um, next video, I'll, we'll probably have uh, we'll probably have uh, Ian in it, hopefully. And um, we'll see you guys next time.